Yes, yes, people, we are back live. We are back live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube for another edition of the Man Dem United podcast, the podcast dedicated to all things Manchester United. So please keep all your comments, all your questions, Manchester United related, please, people. Um, breaking news today broke earlier on. John Myrtle steps down as football director at Manchester United. I'm not sure if it's imminent or I'm not sure if it's at the end of the season, but John Myrtle will be stepping down as football director and I did read that the duties will be split between it'll be Jason Wilcox once he gets here and a few others as, as well before we get a new footballing director and I'm not gonna lie this is all confusing to me and I have to google it again but I'm not sure if the footballing director and the director of, fo director of football and footballing director is it the same thing I believe it is but I'm sure you lot in the chat will let me know. But make sure you run up the likes first and foremost. Hit the like button on the video. Make sure you share this across all of the socials as well. And on top of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, Sarcasm City TV, and hit the notification bell as well. And you lot know I need no excuse. Big up to Prime says, big up Flawless. You are late. So you know what that means. Play the clip. Whether I was late, which I was late, my apologies because I had to change the thumbnail. Whether I was on time, whether I was early by a minute, Whether I was here earlier than an hour, of course, man was going to play that clip. And shout out to MT who says that news is 16 out of 10. MT, you are spot on. That news is 16 out of 10. And big up to uh, it's Taz who says, what in the 16 out of 10 time? You're joking. That is brilliant. I'm going to use that. What in the 16, 10 is now going to be a thing. And actually last night, people, I was setting up the website to sell this um, 16 out of 10 merch. I'm setting up the website. Pre-orders will be available at the very least. But I'm trying to get it ready for this week so you can um, so you can actually buy the merch, people. And if you don't know what in the six, what 16 out of 10 is, people, here you go. By the way, it, but can here I we just are. say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. All right, big up the panel. I told, as for... If you got a man in the building, Ivorian's here, she's here. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, no, I'm definitely not feeling 16 out of 10 since last week. No, at all, man. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not feeling 16 out of 10. Sheik, what are you telling me, family? You good? Hey, I'm man, doing good. Like the chat said, 16 out of 10 news today. What a <laughs> 16 out of 10 way to start the day, yo. Like, that's yo, what I'm saying. 16 out of 10 news life, is joke. Life's got to be a 16 out of 10 every single day. And we started off right today. So let's go, man. Let's we go, did. Man. We actually, we actually did. Big up classifieds. It's big up flawless. Looking sixteen out of ten today. Appreciate it. Why was he so specific? Because right at Egypt. That's why he was so specific. And like I said, sixteen out of ten teas will be available this week, people. Like I said, worst case scenario, pre-orders. But that's what I was doing last night. I was actually setting up the shop, setting up the shop. So I need to finish it today so it's available for you lot but yes it is 16 out of 10 news in my opinion with john merrill stepping down big up to lewis for the raid it's his birthday as well so I love big to my don carefree lewis G. make sure you yeah. subscribe as well Kaneki, i see you joel akctid as well mt it's taz mike salute to everyone all the regulars all the new people all the members all the mods much 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 appreciated but we'll start with that because i did believe we was going to start talking about the performance at, about the performance against Liverpool and the result, which we will get to. But obviously, John Myrtle stepping down as football director at Manchester United. We'll go to you, Ivorian, because you were talking about it just before we went live. So, so thoughts? Surely happy about it, at least. Absolutely happy to see the Uber driver stepping down for Manchester United. Now, Flores is always laughing, but I will have to explain that, guys. He was the head of youth development, which meant that he was picking up young players from school or uh, to the academy. So technically, he was a classified Uber driver. Uh, taxi man but yes ecstatic to see that he's leaving because i'll be honest with you flawless you know this was a man that was head of youth development and ventured into a role at manchester united for the first mm -hmm. time as a director of football based on relationships and not based on credentials or qualifications you know and ever since he's been there it, i'll be very honest with you it's not like manchester united themselves have improved as him as director of football not like the footballing decisions at the club has improved. The footballing decisions has been the same stale footballing yeah. decisions has been when the Glazers were in charge, even though they hired him as a director of football. And when they did, yeah. they just put a name to it, you know, but it never really had to me, he never really had a role that, that had power or to do anything or have any influence. 
And at the same time, he was still learning the job, you know. And and you look at the selection. He was also in that selection process of, of bringing in Eric Ten Hag. You look at the way he's turning out right now. He's Thanks. also probably part of the selection process of bringing in players and also trying to help players probably um, leave the club. And you look at the state of the club. Um, we've had we've had horrible attempts of trying to get rid of players. We still have the same players. It's been causing us the same problems. Season in, season out, still here under his stewardship as a director of football. You know, um, the coaching as well has been terrible. You know, he's influenced. Is it the same thing? Is, is football director and director of football? Is it the same? Is it the uh, same did thing? I say that, did I say the opposite? No, director of football. I did, I'm, I'm no, no, no. I'm no, no. I'm genuinely asking. Like, is football because, like, I know technical director. See, all these terms people are like, when we got linked with Jason Wilcox, I had to figure out like a technical, technical mm -hmm. director is not the director of football, but is the football director mm -hmm. a separate role? To the director yeah. of football, or is it the same thing? I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard of a football director. Or I've heard of yeah. director of football who did takes yeah. the football, um, has um influence with players, it. recruitment, manager, coaching, basically overseeing everything regarding the football because he's the director of football and 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 obviously ensuring that the team always I mean the club always um abides to the philosophy of the way that mm. the team plays as well so that's what i know from briefly about the role of the director of football they have influence but with J john Murto, we know that um he never really had it, that much of an influence because of course we all we always knew that um ed woodbread was a dictator and loved control of everything and loved his power that he had at Manchester united so i Again, if you look at the way Man he has influenced Manchester United, I don't think he's done a great job as a director of football because it was the first time he's ever done this role. And, and you look at Manchester United right now, the way we are, you just see it, man. It's about time. Because I I always was ushering that he should always also be one of the guys that leave, not just um, 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 Richard Arnold, not just the the other technical director like Darren Fletcher, the fake technical director, yeah, yeah. And, and John Mertel. He yeah, had at least to he's going to be moved on. It's yeah, good. I was I waiting for him. He knew he was next. His days were coming. I'm very sure he had um cold, sleepless nights at waking up at three o'clock in the morning in cold sweats, wondering if today's the day, you know, and when, and relaxing. And so when it comes to Friday, he thinks he's just got away with it. And then Sunday comes, his heart pressure and blood pressure just goes up because Monday, mm -hmm. you just never know. So the time has come. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. Manchester United are trying to get their upset sorted out before the season ends. It's all about to me, it's about who comes in before the start of the transfer window because I don't want it to be a situation where we have to wait until June or July, yeah, to stop mm -hmm. these guys that's coming in because it seems like it now. Same thing with probably with Wilcock coming in, it's the same thing with um Beretta coming in late into the transfer yeah. window. I don't like that. So, when they do hire next type of football, I'm looking forward to the mm -hmm. names, you know, I am looking forward to mm -hmm. the names. I just mm. hope that they come in straight away because they are the director of football. So they should start doing the work of Beretta shortly before Beretta comes in and has full control. So it'll be nice to see one come in sometime now, soon, or towards at the end of season in May. Like as soon as the la the, the last ball the last the, the last ball gets kicked, the final whistle goes. I want to see breaking news. Manchester United have got the new director of football that started. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah, what Prime I mean. said it is. So it, so it is the same thing. Mm -hmm. So football director is the mm -hmm. same as director of football, which I guessed it was. Right. But then even when I even when I googled it, it was saying it could be a technical director. I don't know all these terms, so I'm mm -hmm. learning on the job, kind of like Manchester United's hierarchy. So you know, <laughs> yeah, learning on the job. That's what we do here. The difference in wording, mm -hmm. and there's minimum differences, but basically the same roles. So I'm just glad he's gone. Someone who's probably a stack, he's gone because he's been on Omar Barada's case. He's been on Omar's case like he's in the wild. Shout out to Corey in the building as well. <laughs> Corey, what, are you <laughs> what are you saying, man? You good? I'm good, man. Good. I've seen some movements of Manchester United. Like McNulty, you know. <laughs> yeah, facts. He's on Omar's man. case. Yeah, go on, go on, Corey. Go on, go on. I've got no opinion on it right now. I told you. So you got There's no. no you got, you got, opinion on, on John Murto leaving so you're not happy about it because I know you've wanted to clear up I'm not happy and I'm not sad about that because right now for what I know you could employ someone that's even worse true that true. is a possibility yeah, 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 so that's true. No that's true. until I see a new person come in you know mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can't find someone unless you've got someone in the works cooking um they mm -hmm. said they there was someone that they had in line already it was wasn't it Dan Ashworth Dan Ashworth, who we've been linked with for a lot for a long time, but that yeah. still seems to be up in the air because he's on garden and leave from from Newcastle. So if it is Dan Ashworth, one thing I can say is he's definitely better than John Myrtle. Yeah, 
because at least mm. he's actually been a director of football and has actually had some form of success in the yeah. world. Whereas John Myrtle, that was even his title. Like I've already was talking about it. He's, he's never been a director of football. So it's like mm. a strike, a strike, getting a striker. It's like getting a striker, signing a striker to your club. But, and you've got zero strikers. He's going to be better than what you have simply because he actually performs in that role. So, yeah, I hear yeah. what you're saying, though. I hear what you're saying, whether it's Dan Ashworth or it is somebody else. But they've done more than I've expected already. But the bar was on the floor. What are you, yeah. what are you saying about Sheik in regards to John Merle stepping yeah. down? Um, yeah, obviously, like, a, kind of like a step in the right direction. Um, mm -hmm. We've wanted someone at this position to actually do their job, like Aburin was saying. A lot of the, you know, dealings from players trying to leave the club, a lot of the signings that we've been a part of, a lot of also the way that we've negotiated with teams, you know, certain transfers going on for a year, a couple of months, all that type of stuff, teams scamming us. A lot of, a lot of that has to do with John Murto, and it's good. Um, it's about time that he leaves. Obviously, I've not been happy with his whole tenure. I think he stepped into his position around 2021, but he's been okay, involved okay. with the club since like 2013 so he's seen it all he's seen through this whole transition that we've been going through and it's good man it's time to go um and yeah i'm, I'm kind of like same thing with Corey. i still have to see who gets appointed it's probably gonna be dan ashworth we've been linked with him for so long he's doing this whole leave it's like they're trying to make this whole thing work um so it makes sense if it's gonna be him and uh yeah i mean like in terms of the differences i think technical director and the footballing director is the same thing i'm pretty sure um, but I'm, I just hope whoever it is, and just like how Corey said, we're looking at Omar Barada a little funny right now. Cause he's the one who's, who's setting up the Avengers. He's Nick Fury at this moment. So, <laughs> um, yeah, if we're looking at you a little bit weird, so look at Corey's we gotta, face. <laughs> we gotta see who you appoint. We gotta see, we gotta see what job everyone does. But whoever this person is, um, I'm sure that they do a better of a job than John Murtaugh for sure 100% yeah. they'll actually do their job in that in that specific department so it's good this whole Ineos regime thing is underway I'm, I'm glad it's happening a little bit before the season two because now there can be proper planning going into next season you know you you sit down conference table all these people sit together talk about what we need to do in the near near future and mm -hmm. start getting to work man get to work that's really just what it is there's a lot to fix get to work as simple as that no, I, I, I agree in regards to, and I like the analogy, what you used by being Nick Fury sitting at the Avengers. I like that because you are trying to put, assemble and put this team together. And it is yeah. steps in the right direction. Like people say, I want more, I want everybody to resign or to be sacked. That's just to clarify. So I'm glad that people are leaving. That is definitely positive steps. But of course, you have to go and hire the right people. And they, with Jason Wilcox, someone he's worked with before, Dan Ashworth has it. I don't know if he's worked with him before, but obviously Dan Ashworth has a track history of performing to a decent level in that role as well. So it seems to be going in the right direction, but we'll see. Obviously, a lot of it is on the manager as as well, because we're going to hear conflicting re reports. Mm -hmm. I've said that before. I'll say it again. Take any reports you hear in regards to Ten Hag's future with a pinch of salt, because that's going to happen all summer long, in particular before the Euros, mm -hmm. when the news has slowed down. The same way we get linked to every player during the transfer window, that's going to happen during the summer. Already, from when any else have stepped in, I've heard that Ten Hag, I've heard reports and seen reports saying Ten Hag staying. I've seen mm -hmm. reports saying that they're unsure and they've not made their decision. I've seen reports saying they're unhappy and he will definitely be, be believing. So take it everything with a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Like, should they have made their decision already if they're smart? Yes. There's no way they can watch what's going on. Even this is before Liverpool before Chelsea, before Brentford, before our last three games, which just summers up in an absolute nutshell. Summers up in a nutshell in regards to, forget the results of those games, the performances in those games. There's no way they seen those three games and said, he's the guy to take us into this new regime, with this new hierarchy, with the new, that as, as Sheik said, the Avengers. <laughs> and you're saying he's the guy who's going to be leading the team. But Flores, just to add to that, they're the same people that have been linked to Gareth Southgate, and I'm there thinking yeah. these guys think I, he's the guy to take us forward. They can't. They, can't. <sighs> they, can't. they, they have to. If they're smart, what they do is go and get somebody we don't expect because we've been mm -hmm. linked to Southgate. Of course, he's currently favourites at the bookmakers. Potter's on the list. Obviously, you got Inzaghi who's on the list. The Zerbi's another one, etc. There's a few more names, but this is where they have to do what Spurs did and go get someone that nobody expected. Mm -hmm. I, I, it would tell all 
I'm on the car, even though I'm joking around and running bands with Corey about it, it's like I'm on that type of vibe is in regards to any of you on the clock. Everybody there is mm. on the clock and we'll find out this summer. At the start of this some at the start of next season, I'm either going gonna be thoroughly invested in the team and like, all right, mm. this is going somewhere and I can't wait to see the season start, or I'm gonna be the complete opposite. And I'm going to be disinterested and go, you man are not serious. This is exactly like the last regime. So, for instance, if Ten Hag's it, I know you man ain't serious. Or, for instance, if Ten Hag goes and they go higher Southgate or they go higher Graham Potter, it's like... And they keep the same players. Yeah, you man are just doing the obvious thing. Yeah, and you keep the same players. You man are just doing the obvious thing. And it's like, you can't be out here. That's been our problem, is that too many times we've went and gone and got the obvious signing. And even though the player may be talented... There's no plan. It's all right, let's just sign this player because he's talented and there's no plan on how to use him. How does he fit with the team? How does he fit with the squad? Makes no sense, but you decided to go and sign him. Like, what, what sense does that make? Like, even the summer just gone where we signed Onana Mount Hoyland. Those three don't fit. There was no plan with those three on how we trying to play out. We just signed Onana because he had played well the past season within the Milan and Ten Hag knew him. Mount, PR and Hoyland because I think Ten Hag had worked with him previously as well and we needed a strike. It's like there was no, it wasn't, it wasn't thought out. It was not thought out, a, a well thought out plan, I should say. But that's just my opinion on it. But yeah, we'll see with Ineos and with Omar Barada and everybody else and Ratcliffe. And they go and surprise us. That's what I want. Go and get someone that's like, right, I'd rather it be like, who? We have to go and research the new manager because we don't know. Don't go and get a Potter or Deserbia, like I said, obvious signings. It's like, who, wait, who did we get? Oh, does anyone know anything about him? Oh, where did, oh, well, he did this and that. Like, let us actually go and research rather than go and get, yeah, Southgate. Why? Because he manages England. The only reason you're getting Southgate. Southgate was performing at a club at the same level as performing at England. We would not be linked to him. There'd be no talk about it whatsoever. Mm hmm yeah, yeah, Matt, I agree. Matt Sancho actually came to mind as I was talking. That's another player, super talent. There was no plan. Mm -hmm. yeah, there was no plan. And then I think the season after, we signed Ronaldo. There was no plan. It was just... Maybe that makes sense. Month. Yeah, so you signed Sancho and then signed Ronaldo and then you got Rashford there and Bruno. Whether you rate these players or not is a whole different conversation. I'm talking about they don't fit as a team. And that was the worst thing about the Mount signing. Whether you rate Mount or not, you let's say hypothetically you think he's a world-class baller. He don't fit with what we've got going on in our team. Our midfield consists of Casemiro and Bruno. How does Mount work with that, even if you think they're all talented? No, Mount plays so left wing. Oh, yeah, now he plays. Yeah, now he plays left wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now he plays <laughs> left wing. Left wing, you know. Outrageous. Outrageous. It is. Hey, all I'm saying is all these signings that we're looking to get, 16 out of 10 and nothing less. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> 16 out of 10 and nothing less, bro. True that. True that. I agree with you. Shit. 16 out of 10. ownership about this whole 16 out of 10 thing because now 16 out of 10. Go up. Facts. You know, they the need to know that it's 16 out of 10 and nothing yeah. less. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because if we don't want to be here and be like, what in the 16 out of 10 is going on here? By the way, can I just say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10s today, both of them. All right, big up the panel. I told, as for... Big up Leon in the cut as well. Yes, Leon, what are you telling me, fam? You good? Perfect timing for Leon. Yes, Leon, what's going on? I fucking hate that video. Perfect timing. No, man. It hurts my soul every time I listen. Sorry, to man. That. I got a 16 out of 10 t shirt with your name on it. Don't worry about yeah, it. Brother. Go on, Leon. Flow's yours. Out of control. 16 out of 10. Yeah. Yo, man. What the 16 out of 10 is going on? Well, the floor is oh, yours, man. What's the yeah, man. Oh, man. John Merle Jeez. stepped down as football director, man. Thoughts? Jeez. Celebrate good times. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Um, seems like another step in the right direction towards good structure, innit? With a mm -hmm. that moment, so. But yeah, um, sounds all right, man. I think he broke up, but he'll be back. Big up to Eli in the cut as well. Before we get back, run up the like people, run up the likes, people. Just under 50 of you lot in here. I don't know how many likes we're on, but it's not enough. Make sure you run up the likes. We're at 28, man. Nah, man, get a like check. One, two, one, two. That was up to 40 likes. Please share across all the socials and subscribe to all the man them as well. I've already read United TV, Chic TV, Big Six Bands as well. Stuart B, I hear you because you say, I hope there's a plan because I'm sick of our rivals. Um, little bro in us next move, get that egghead far away from this club. Damn, but I hear you though, Stuart B. He has to be gone. He he should be 
on the way out, like a John Murto, like others that we've mentioned as well. Once Leo's back, we will get back to the John Murto thing. Have we been linked to any other director of footballs, though, apart from... It's just Dan Ashworth. It seems to be Dan him, Ashworth. right? Yeah, just like Dan Ashworth. We yeah. still haven't been linked to Paul Mitchell, bro, at all, yeah, man. Yeah. I haven't seen anything. And I just don't know if we're, we're going to be interested or venture into that situation with Paul Mitchell. Because I, just, I still think he's an, he's an excellent candidate, you know, with his experience. Not just the experience working in in England, because the guys that we've been linked to, their repertoire is in England, whereas Paul Mitchell has gone and ventured himself into, in Germany, RB Leipzig, and then becoming head of um, um, of operation for head, RB, RB Red Bull's team itself, again, and then, of course, going there to Monaco, and he's the type of guy that you can see being linked to your team like PSG, Monaco, um, um, PSG, Bayern, or Real Madrid or Barcelona to do the job. To me, he's he's one of the elites, and he done a very good job at Tottenham as well. Although there was some hit and miss when it came to recruitment, but overall, he's got the one that's got the repertoire and in, in the know how in England, the know how in Europe, especially. And if Manchester United wants to aspire them to themselves to be the best in England, you know, in terms of recruiting the best in England. They also need the eyes in Europe as well. And he has that repertoire. So, like I said before, I'm not too sold on Dean Ashworth, you know. Bright, being, being at Brighton, yes, Brighton brought in some good talents, but are these talents going to be at the big best clubs in the world? We'll, we'll have to wait and see. We've seen Caicedo make that step, and we see McAllister make that step, but there's still more to see. But again, it doesn't impress me, man, at all with Dean, um, the, with Dan Ashworth, man. I prefer Paul Mitchell, someone that's been there okay. at every level and only has elite rep um, reputation in terms of work okay. experience. I'm not sold with the other guys that's we've been linked to. Even I, okay. the guy, I can take, I can take because he's been at Manchester City, yeah. but that's fine. Okay. But does Dean Ashworth work? No. No. Yeah, and I just seen what Corey just put in the group chat. So this is um Justin. This is from MUFC MPB on Twitter. Omar Barada and Jason Wilcox have been lined up to lead Manchester United's transfer market strategy this summer because Sir Jim Ratcliffe believes Dan Ashworth's arrival as the sporting director is still a while away. That's from at Jamie Jackson underscore underscore underscore. So I right, we'll see because like you said, Jane with Jason Wilcox, he's worked with Barada at Manchester City and Dan Ashworth. There seems to be problems with getting him away from Newcastle, but they've identified him as the guy. Would I have preferred someone who's been at a higher level? Yes, but if they're saying that's their guy, cool. That's the guy they've identified and said he's our director of football. So it's going, Corey. What, what are you saying? I know you got something to say on this. No, it's like, Baran just taking the reins, isn't it? Like, now, <laughs> now it's just adding more pressure on this team. Like, now, now he's the one that's going to be taking the reins on what's going off. So... <laughs> You ain't even got no one else. You're, you're a front runner. Like, I respect it. You know, putting yourself up in here. Like, I respect yeah. it. But I better see some results. Front line. Yeah. Front line. He is. I, I get yeah, it, but at least yeah, they, Corey, they will be the result that you want to see is is sorry. The one of the main major results you want to see is a is, is a major decision of, of a big player getting sold straight away. That's oh, what you want to see as well. She showed yeah. me that these men are serious. Like for example, Rashford being sold to PSG or Bruno Fernandez being put on the transfer list. That shows mm. big statement. And a lot of these other scrubs like Maguire, McTominay being sold before mm. we even bring in players. Exactly. I, yeah, that's it. Like, I, I don't mind if we... I don't expect us to bring in a, a basically a whole new team. I'm not expecting that. And I'm not expecting mm. us to cover everything that needs to be covered straight away. Like, mm. it's impossible to do it in one window. But what I want to see... I'm more concerned on outgoings, as you said already. Like, mm. show me something that I've never seen before. Like, go and... Like, if, if I see you guys sell Mount, I'll be like, rah. Rah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know it don't mm -hmm. work. You, you've tried mm -hmm. it for a season. It's not really working. He's been injured. Like, it's not good enough. So you can cut. Bruno Fernandes, the captain, like, gone. I'd be like, bro, you man actually saw Bruno Fernandes. You're looking to bring in someone else. Like, that's the type of stuff I want to see. I, we always bring in people. We always bring in mm -hmm. people. You know? So that that that's never going to change. Show me. I want to yeah. see outgoing. When was the last time you made a sell? <laughs> I mean a significant yeah. sell, <laughs> nothing above twenty million. Yeah, we, yeah. Well, I get what you're saying there in regards to. I'm not even talking about the amount. When's the last time we made a sale? And he's like, "Wow, we sold touch and touch." Mm -hmm. Like it was a shock. Like Corey's right. Yeah. Like imagine we turn around this summer and we find, yeah, Rashford's gone. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Now nah, yeah. you lying. 
or Bruno's gone or Maguire's gone or McTominay. It's like, wow, they, they actually sold, man. Mm -hmm. Like that's yeah. actually a shot. Like a it's a it's a, a sale of intent. It's a sale with intent that shows nobody's safe. Mm -hmm. We need that, man. We need everybody literally mm -hmm. on eggshells. Whereas like you don't perform here, you're out, or you don't fit our plan, and that ties back into Omar Barada and Wilcox and everybody else. Mm. Style. Yeah. Pick a style and then you pick those players who fit that style. Even if they're not of the quality required, they can still play the style to an extent. That's yeah. what it should be. There should be no more just, clean slates. I've been saying like this. this. If they can play the style to an extent, then you're just on the bench. Yeah. Yes. That makes the bench player. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely yeah, makes a bench player, and that's for the time being. And then the summer after, you then go in and try and improve players. Type exactly, thing, right? Spurs have done that. Like their players, all their players are not good enough, but all the players there can play Angie's style to an extent. But they'll mm. go on and try and improve probably in the summer. That's why Eric Dyer, I keep using, was moved on straight away, even though he was sold in January. He did not play. It's like, right, this is the way I'm going about, it, and that's what it has to be. But well, we, we we will we will see with it. I think Leon's back with us now. He's just gonna I get. Think the manager yeah. plays, though, plays I'm here, man. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Man United, cool the fun. worst market stall in the world, the most overpriced dead <laughs> fruit ever. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, no, uh, I agree. What I was saying before was it seems like with the John Murray stuff that we're moving in the right direction. But let mm -hmm. let's just let these lot do. Everybody's Man United fans are whores for news, man. Do you know what I mean? Absolute <laughs> whores. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like relax just let things happen naturally and like i don't want to hear the news about who's in and who's i just want the things to happen flawless you know what i mean it's like get all these out i don't need to know every player we're linked with every person that comes in and out and stuff it's good to know but i don't want to look too deeply into it um i just want them to just just clear it out like more molassia style business in it just bring in clear out done and corey's right when i heard him say a piece about i'm more bothered about the outgoings once we do that fresh slate on and off the pitch we're going to start to see a better rebuild in that. So, yeah, mm. man. I think with the resources we've got, I always say it, guys, we have better people running the football club. Just just alone with them resources, mm. you will see us finish. Like, this season, we could have been just below the title challenges or even battling for third place this season, definitely. The league's not amazing. So, but, yeah, man, let's just see. And I feel like I'm liking what's happening with Ten Hag, man. I like how he's... Thinks he's safe when I know he's not. <laughs> he's not safe. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I like how Ineos are uh, playing it in a way because they're they're giving him the false. They're not even giving him anything, really, are they? They haven't given him any reassurances. So I think he thinks he's safer than what he thinks. He, I think he's going to start thinking about the summer. But really, deep down, I think he's shitting it because he knows he's going to go. So see what happens. <laughs> No, I hear, exactly, I hear exactly what you're saying that with Leon, uh, me and Leon, in regards, in regards to it. And yeah, I think we're just all just waiting on it and see what happens. Like Dan Ashworth, it seems to be that, like I said, that's the guy that they're waiting on. So, hey, you lot got to work. If that's the guy you identified, fair enough. And to Madison, who says, last time I was here, I asked Flawless why Myrtle was still here. I don't trust any of us. They probably listened. I still don't trust them. No game mistaken. But. Another step in the right direction. Same way Omar Barada was a step in the right direction. Same way the Jelson, Jason Wilcox deal once it happens. Same way this is. Same way John Murrow leaving is. These are all good things. Do not get it mistaken. These are all good things. However, there's still more. Like we are, we are like, these are just steps and we are staircases away. You know what I'm saying? We are the, the big building in the buyer way. You know what I'm saying? That's where we are. We still on the first, we still on the ground floor. <laughs> we gotta try and reach all the way to the top yeah. of the building, but again, these are steps them, in the I right direction. As well. Like, yeah. does that does that makes sense? I don't trust yeah, them. But I don't not trust them. Like, I just don't have a, right a specific a right reason to trust them, but I don't mm -hmm. have a reason to not trust them either. Like, you're just in the middle right now, but mm -hmm. you've got uh, you've got two two. I said two years. You've got two years. <laughs> two years. Mm -hmm. That's four transfer windows. And that starts from this transfer window here. Mm -hmm. Four transfer windows. Let me see some. Nah, I it, no, that? that's fair. Let me some. No, oh, that's fair. Rhino's also what? in the building. Yes, Rhino. He's saying you good. Yes, man. What's good, man? I was having a little yeah. nap, man. 
It's all good, man. Get your rest, yes. man. It's all good. Hey, I was having a yeah. nice little nap. I looked at the time. I was like, oh, you know, he wake yeah. up just past what you're meant to do. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Trust me. But yeah. what's good, man? What's everyone saying, man? Yeah, yeah, what's man. No, bless, man. Yes, Talking good. about this Jamelo stepping down as football director. Thoughts, Rhino? Chat to us. Yeah, man. It's just, as we've been saying, man, just more steps towards the right direction. Obviously, we can't 100% guarantee what any are going to do. We can only judge on their actions. You know, it's easy to mm-hmm. put out all these statements and say, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And this is going to be our standards. But we need to see the proof in the pudding. So, yeah, man, it's nice to see these these ancient people that have been part of our structure just going, man. Because for me, that's going to be the biggest celebration when these people leave the club, when we start seeing players leaving. So I will actually say it. And admit that I'll be giddy if I start to see big players leave. Like, imagine Bruno okay. and Rashford leaves. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah, be on yeah, the giddy yeah, train because uh, how giddy. many years? Yeah, yeah giddy, giddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm giddy. there. Giddy. Let's get giddy. <laughs> giddy. <laughs> Let's get giddy. I'll be, I'll be on Corey's. You know, you call me, call me, uh, Mr. Flipping Barada. Man. Call me Rhino Barada or something. Like, I'm <laughs> Barada, Barada, you know, you know? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a Barada you know? thing. I hear you. Yeah, hate but, you. so yeah, for me, it's just about the action. So yeah, he's gone now. Hopefully, we get somebody in. Obviously, you're hearing the likes of Ashworth. You're hearing about um. What's the other guy's name? The South Wilcox and all of these names. Yeah, yeah. Jason Wilcox so, is the technical director. Yeah, that's what they're yeah. saying. Because he's worked so with we get, before. If we get these two in, fair enough, man. We want the best in class. I know people always say, oh, but they're coming from this club and coming from that club. As long as they're good at their job and they're competent, I don't care. You know, and they where know do to people expect at... them to come from? That's the idiot's name. Yeah, <laughs> like Mane, Mane and Salah, where did they come from? You know what I mean? Players people can got... come and, oh, yeah, people I, can I come from... I don't want anybody from outside of Manchester. What are you idiots saying? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, foolish. Yeah. So, yeah, man, as yeah, long as they're yeah. competent in their job and they can do what they need to do mm-hmm. and they understand their assignment, you know, yes, it is Man United. You know, Ten Hag, we all wanted him. Well, not uh, well. Most of us did. I know Traps was saying that he was skeptical, and a lot of people, some people were, but we wanted him. We believed it, you know. So, as long as they understand their assignment, and obviously, real, as bad as Ten Hag is, he hasn't got the best structure around him. Yes, he can get more. He could do a lot better, but he's not in the best. You know, a lot of people underestimate how bad bad United is and how hard it is to turn the ship around. So, yeah, these men, they've got. Um, they're obviously in talks with, you know, Ineos, Ratcliffe, Brailsford and whatever, and they've planned this whole thing. So as long as everyone's pulling their weight in and doing their jobs, we'll see, man. So it's, it's just another piece of good news to add. But there's a like you said, I can't remember what show was on. And he was like, there's many steps to go. But yeah. as long as we're seeing the steps, why, why could, how can we complain, you know? Yeah, it's steps just, in the right direction. You know? yeah. I know. There's if, one yeah. bit i got to pull you up on, yeah? Like saying he's what? not got what? the best structure around him. If your brethren's acting like an idiot and he gets punched up, yeah, you can't say, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got the best people around you. Do you know what I mean? So now, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, because if trouble, you though. have to be real, yeah, like he hasn't in it, like he hasn't. Let's be real. I know he's gash, but you know, like if yeah, you have to kind of look at the yeah, whole we know thing. Yeah. We know he's terrible, but he has no help also. Like, he's acting like an Egypt, but then he's got brethren. And he don't help himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't help himself, but then he's got brethren who are encouraging the foolishness and enabling yeah, it. Yeah. But even though they're not at fault, they are not helping the situation. They are just pouring yeah. fuel on the fire that's already out of control as it is. But that's why I don't hear no excuses for anybody involved, because they're both at fault. But people are like, oh, he'll do better with a better structure. No. The, the, some of the decisions that Ten Hag is making is nothing to, like, in-game, that's nothing to do with structure. Yeah. Some of the results yeah. and some of the substitutions and just how we play and just our lack of, our lack of everything. Our lack we of direction lack, for me, yeah, just lack that's of, what lack, burns me. Lack of direction, right yeah. on. That's what we have. We don't learn. We don't, there's no improvement. Like, we've just played Liverpool, Chelsea, Brentford and conceded late goals in all three games. And for so that us to add to that, Go like, look at, like, like, and and, and this is the same kind of fi- um kind of statement I want to make for Bruno. Bruno's terrible, mm-hmm. but you can definitely get more out of Bruno if you make him do the yeah, right absolutely. things and put the right... Yeah. Like, I was, I told the man, I, mean, I, I can't remember what group chat I was in. There was a few. And I said mm-hmm. the same kind of message to a few, few of the chats. Mm-hmm. I said, look, when Bruno spams that, there's a pass that he made and it got blocked. Mm-hmm. And you, yeah. but if you see the way all the players are running, it just looked like a, a, a mess. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, who yeah. was going to get the ball anyway? Was everyone going yeah. in behind? 
Well, did the, the man set FIFA everyone up, up top, up in behind, in behind, in behind, in behind? That's what it is, bruv. It's crazy, bruv. Because me, I play with the stats, in it. Certain man, I yeah. let to come, let, let to come and receive the ball. Certain man, I let to overlap, yeah, yeah, yeah. invert and overlap. Like man, plays a system and that. Mm -hmm. You all actually have a style all, play. Oh, they were all getting in behind that like six man. So yeah, it's, it's, you it's know, co the coaching is crazy. The players don't know how to be, how to act in transition themselves. So mm. yeah, man, there's a lot of little things that Ten Hag just doesn't know what to do, man. So right yeah, now, Prime. Man, I, have to, so, I have to tell you what you say with a pinch of salt because you're a 10 hour player. You say you like to run in behind and slot the ball, <laughs> isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what it is. I, I, I do my job in it. So mm -hmm. that's what it is. I do my job. If Bruno was to do his job, I wouldn't moan at the, uh, You get me, but he's not doing his job on top of the fact that uh, yeah. other players are around to him. Be fair, so, if you're Andy Cole yeah. style player, you're not really made for this 10 hour system, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. definitely not. No, still. But I, I'll make something out of it. I can make a goal out myself, you know. I can beat. I can beat yeah. one, two man, and then slot in yeah. a goal, you know. Don't get. Don't get, hey, listen. Even back everybody, in the day. Back in the day. No, nobody Indeed. thrives in the system, though. No, 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 they no, no, they do. Runners do. Runners do. Runners do. The runners don't. They just. They just look less shit than the rest. Because our runners look at Ganacho. That's what it is. They just look less. They just look less terrible. That's all it is. That. That. That's it. It's none of this, like, no one here. Who's had, an, who's had a good season for us this season? Take out Mano. Dalo has been the most improved out of... Oh, so, so, so maybe, hear what you said, Dalo. most improved. I feel this thrives on these questions, you know. <laughs> I don't even think he's been I think, I think he's just been consistent season. in the load of shit. I don't think he's improved that much, Dad. I think he's just been yeah. But he's improved. He's been more impactful. He's stronger on his runs. Going forward, he's improved as well. Defensively, yeah, he's, yeah. Improved. Yeah. Like, he's a better player than what he was. Um, I, don't know, really that. I think he's always been that level. I think mm -hmm. he just needed to get the consistent runs going. Yeah, I don't, he's, I don't think he's like massively improved. Oh, who Dalo? Yeah, I just think he's consistently very good. Like, so. yeah, he's he's consistent yeah. like five, six out of ten. Bear me, you know, one second. Hey, still, sixteen Dalo, out of ten. Dalo I don't know about most... six out of ten. No, Dalo, Dalo being, <laughs> <a> most... <laughs> Dalo being <laughs> our most improved players, literally like. David De Gea being the player of the season for the past mm -hmm. couple of yeah, years. Yeah, that's it's a very good comparison. Same, it's been like the same thing. That itself is the problem. If David De Gea has been our player of the season for a set number of years, that just explains the club in a general. So, mm -hmm. like, that's just what it is. But, yeah, like What's I said, man, Ten Hag is, the season, Ten Hag is just like Prime's comment, too. Like, Ten Hag is Ryan. Ten Hag mm -hmm. is Ryan. He, when he says all these things, <laughs> In the flesh, he, he is, you know, he really he, he, he takes yo, perhaps was smitten when he said, Yo, that Eric Ten Hag press conference riz, man. Riz. He was, yeah. Yeah. don't worry, yeah. Leon. Leon, Leon, for your sake, I'm not gonna play the clip, don't worry about it. But yes, he is Ryan, mm -hmm. he is just Ryan he with is. a bald head, facts, mm -hmm. yeah, Ryan was Dutch, middle aged and bald. Yeah. He'd be Eric yeah. Ten Hag. This is what it's like yeah. having Ryan run your football club. I'm telling Damn. you. It's crazy. Because the 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 delusional's the delusion's crazy, and I can see some similarities when Ryan was complaining that when is this going to stop, and then Ten Hag yeah. was saying, "Oh, you guys have spoke about me. Yeah, we're going to speak about you, mate. Like, yes. You're yeah. you're hey. you're running us into the ground, mate. Like we're going to chat about you. You're telling you us that we should see for. the vision, and he's saying that you know." It's the girls should have given me the numbers. The girls yeah. should have said thank you. Mm -hmm. No, they shouldn't have, mate. Yeah. <laughs> no, Ryan Hogg. Ryan Hogg, yeah. yeah. Men like Ryan Hogg, you know. Oh, Ryan Hogg. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan's getting famous every stream, you know. He is, man. Hey, Ryan, 16 out of 10 Hogg, man. That's yeah. what he is, man. That's his name, man. Ryan. Ryan if Ryan comes, I'm going to bring out the walk for him. That's what I'm going to start doing. But if certain man just needs to go in the walk and just, just yeah. bake off, man. You feel me? Yeah, Ryan, 16 out of 10 Hogg. And people, yes, the merch will be out. I'm going to keep clarifying that merch will be available yeah, this week. I'm copying that. People. Whether it's pre-orders or actual merch, the, the 10, the, I was going to say, the, the 16 out of 10, I was going to say 16 out of 10, Hark, the 16 out of 10 t-shirts will be available, people. Do not worry about that. Shout and out, right? Don't forget to do the seasonal ones, you know, the Valentine's Day, baby, you're a 16 out of 10. Mother's Day, hey. mom, you're a 16 oh. out of 10. Guys, oh. yeah, me, no, no idea for, the, the for that month. The Christmas is, one. That is phenomenal. Have a merry 16 out of 10. You get oh. me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You Can I have one up? more request? I don't know who's talented or even, <laughs> even Leon could probably do or someone in the chat. Can you guys fuse 10 Hog and Ryan together and make like a <laughs> Dragon Ball Z fusion? Like, <laughs> quit Ryan Hog.
That'd be hard. Riot hard, 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 you know. Yeah. Man said the seasonal ones for a month. That'd be fire. Yeah. Like the Christmas ones in the month of December, like February yeah. for Valentine's Day. Like what they, are you saying? Like, hey. 16 out of 10. What are you saying? Instead of future, be saying 16, 10, 16. 16. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you know he's cooked? Cause he, he it. You know how you know he's cooked? Because he even there in the comments talking rubbish. That's how you know he's cooked. Yeah. Only other time is Ryan repelling. It's brilliant, man. It's brilliant. I, I love it, man. Brilliant. That clip will live on. And like Rhino said, he was here talking on Friday, talking about, oh, when's the clip going to stop? Same way, turned out be talking like, when you lot going to stop talking about? Never. What are we talking about here? You're Manchester United manager. I said, Ryan, hey, that's generational. We talk about generational talents. That's a generational clip. Because that will be passed down from generation to generation to generation. And there's going to be more edits. More people are going to edit it as well. And now Ivorian yeah. just gave me the idea for, for seasonal. Of course, <laughs> for, bro. For seasonal. Man, man. Yeah, I'll just throw that to you, bro. I've read that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I appreciate it, but I appreciate it. I'm definitely at anything. Any, any, um, any, any, what's the word I'm looking for, man? Any holiday, that's the word I'm looking for. Any holiday, any event, yeah, you lot will get special merch for that month, without doubt. Without you know doubt. What, yeah. Yeah. Go on, just, Corey. I've noticed, yeah, for me, go on. Uh, why does Ten Hog do I've got the, something I want to say. Right. Every yeah. time that Ryan mm -hmm. clip plays, yeah, I just want the Eclipse to come. It's yeah, I can tell, room. man. I watch you visibly get. I watch you <laughs> visibly get uncomfortable. So for those that don't know, like, obviously the clips plays. I can see so everybody fast. across the bottom of the screen and see their reactions. And some people just I don't hilarious. Press, I don't press up on you, you know. I've never pressed yeah. up on you. I don't even watch yeah. you. Yeah, Leon's just not with it. <laughs> like, he, just it. Has, he just has secondhand embarrassment. Some people are just confused. Other people are like, "Yo, why did he say 16? Ask him. You know what I'm saying? It'll pop up in the comments at some point. I'll be here on Friday, people, for the United Liverpool show. As he was on there, and people was asking him, like, yo, why did you say 16? What happened? He's like, I don't remember what did he say? saying it. What did he, say? he said he didn't uh, remember. Oh, <laughs> <it's a second. laughs> Wait, when, when was this done for all this? Like, three years ago? Yeah, it was like three years ago. Yeah, it was like two, three years ago. Wait, I think it was 2021. Like, why? <laughs> Imagine having to answer something that you've done three years ago. <laughs> hey, man, it's beautiful. <laughs> and the thing is, you know what the great part is about it as well, Corey? You know the great? There's more clips like outside of that. There's more clips from him on oh, his channel Steve of Daniel. his dumb stuff that he's done. Posted. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's that. Yeah. Yeah. There's more. There's so many, four or five different clips of Corey, him just saying and doing dumb stuff. Done, where he comes in and he's like, oh, hi. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the same one. That's the same one. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that one. That's the next one. Too. That's the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I want to see that. Oh, that'll be a yeah, sick yeah. clip. There's definitely something funny out there that you can. Oh clip yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm just waiting for, for once this 16 out of 10 thing, like you know, dies down a little bit or slows down just a tad. Boom. That's the next one. And then I got yeah. one to plan after. Next wave. And then after, and after yeah. that's the next wave. Hundred yeah, percent. We might get yeah. ooh high tees. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? <laughs> but hey, you lucky to you to run up the likes, hit the subscribe button as well. You can tell we really don't want to talk about Manchester United because we're here talking about <laughs> 16 out of 10. That's how much we don't. But we'll get back to it. Obviously, the Liverpool game happened. Unfortunately, all I can say is we got a decent result. Other than that, there's very, very little positives. We'll go to you first. Randall, we'll wow. go to you first on it. Thoughts on that, the Honestly, game that game was so, so bad, man. I know Garnacho had his offside chance, but just the whole sh no shots is absolutely... A sh it's absolutely... Zero, a for those that don't know, zero shots in the first half. Not zero and shots we, on target, yeah. Yeah. zero yeah. shots in the yeah, first half. Shots at, 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 at our keeper. keeper. No, that's Listen, a like, added to the list. Yep. I wait, wish wait, just I before could... Rano carries on, yeah. What was the foot yeah. total at the end of the game? Was it like six? I have, I have, this, I have, I have it. it was like nine. Four, I have it. I have it. I have nine. It. Was it nine? nine? I have it. Nine. And what did I they have in the 20s, 30s again? I think it was like four or five on target. They had 28. Yeah. 28 total. 28 again? <laughs> they had more yeah. than 20 again. 28 yeah. shots. Wait, it's 28 crazy. shots. 28 yeah. shots, seven on target. We had nine and five on target. So yeah, nine nine five five really nine, yeah. They had 28 it's shots and seven 15, on target. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it, oh, yeah, Liverpool yeah, yeah. Stink. Liverpool stink. Because you yeah, can't yeah. have 28 shots and have seven on target. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. what I'm saying. So, yeah. like, Real with that, yeah, all of that's mad, bro. Like, I'll be honest, like, like, Bruv, now no shots on target, no shots at all. Yes, we had the little, you know, we had the little opportunity, cool, but I don't know, bruv. Like just the like I said, the players just look lost. They look clueless. Like it's like 
you know, I don't know if anyone's got little ones, like, just left them in the theme park and this is like, they don't know where to go, they don't know what direction. Like, they looked confused and, yes, I know we can say they're professional bowlers and just should be able to use their, their, their common sense and their IQ, but these players don't have it. You know, these players need to be guided. We need to hold their hands if it was their coach. You know, they need to be coached. And, yes, they haven't been coached for a long time, but Ten Hag gave us that belief that he's going to come to this club and change the ethos. he done research before he came. You know, he had advice from people like Van Hal. You know, he got to speak to previous coaches. He got to sit down with the Glazers. He got interviewed, you know, so he knew the circumstances he was coming in. So to see that second season we were playing like that, I think that's probably, it's so mad because there's so many games we watch and we keep saying, you know what, that, that's probably the worst one. But this one we can actually say was probably the worst one still. How can we have no shots at all? No, I still How think at home? I still think Brentford's the worst one. Or oh, probably, yeah, Brentford. Brentford, but do you know what I'm saying? Just the, the fact that we didn't register no shots, we looked lost, we're at home. You, you forget, we almost forget we was at home. If you if we were at Anfield, you might be able to kind of think, you know what, these players are dead and it's Anfield. But we're at home, you know, and we're relying on the crowd. That's one thing we said. These players are only going to get through if the crowd get them through. But it's because of Kwanzaa. Because of Kwanzaa, we was back in that game. And mm -hmm. Liverpool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liverpool themselves have their self to blame in terms of the fact they, they, they didn't beat us. But, yeah, just the fact that we're so bad and we have no sense of direction. I'm going to keep using that word direction. There's no steps towards yeah, where we're going as on the pitch, you know. Yes, we can see Bar um, Barad and everyone coming in, people leaving. But on the pitch, we don't see nothing. We don't see that. Like, yes, we've had some bright sparks, you know, Manu, um, Dalos had a decent kind of consistent season or whatever, but it's freestyle football. You don't know who's gonna turn up. You don't know who's gonna turn up. You know, like what 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 are we watching here, people? Like and like I'm old school, so freestyle football can work if everyone's a good player. You know, if everyone's got yeah. sick IQ and they build a good kind of chemistry together, it can work. But these players are not that. So that's, yeah, but Rhino, just, that's Ten Hag system. <laughs> yeah, that's his <laughs> like system. Every player in the world, and then we freestyle. That's yeah, awesome. that's it. We bro, out. and it's we out the it's, just, man. it's embarrassing, man. I so Rhino, the best players in the world. I ain't at the end of the day, Pete Mandem, do you know what it is for me? Like mm -hmm. we know where we're at as a club, but it's just to see it. Like when you watch it every game, and you just keep repeat. You know when you just get a reminder. It's like look. It's like it's like a box you don't want to look in. You know that box. There's stuff in there. And you yeah. just open it, just think, <laughs> yeah, <box> yeah, <laughs> bro, that's when the dash away. 87, 87 shots in three games, we've yeah, yeah, bro. And the manager turned around, the manager said that's not a problem. Is this, yeah, and oh, he that's awesome. Even, you reminded me, Go the around. fact he said it's not a problem it's just problem. shows that it's the, that's the catalyst to this whole situation. He's not identifying, he doesn't think it's something that he needs to change, and that is the main issue we're having. Those shots we're receiving is making us vulnerable and it's putting us under pressure. And that's why I don't even really get into Onana too tough. Yes, he's had some howlers. He's had some shots he should have saved. His position looks a bit weird. I actually, I actually, like, he, he actually played well against yeah, Liverpool. But he's he been decent. Well. He's been he decent. Well. And even overall, the fact he started off really rocky, mm. I'm going to kind of look, look back at that in hindsight and think, you know what? I don't think he came to this club expecting so many shots. I think, you know, he thought he was going to be a bit solid. Because think about it, people. When you come oh, to this club as a goalkeeper, it's a lot of pressure. The, the pressure is immense. You're number one. You're the goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. So to come to that position and deal with all of that kind of pressure, um, all of that heat and all of that anticipation and, and the weight on your shoulders on top of the shots he's facing, bruv, there's only, there's only so much any goalkeeper can do, you know, so... Yeah, man, that game was just a that, that that just shows where we are as a club. We Thanks. are things just need to change. And yeah. second half, yes, we can enjoy the fact that we scored. Bruno's goal was a good finish. He was he was poor, but great great finish. If and, then like the cheek to, Wait, and then had the cheek to be had the cheek well, to be shushing <laughs> the, the cheek to yeah. shushing the crap the, 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 the absolute audacity, <laughs> the audacity, <laughs> the performance you put in in that game. The performances yeah. you've been putting in all season, the performances yeah. you've been putting in in your Manchester United career, the performances the team have been putting in, where we are as a, a team, and you have the cheek captain. to shut the crowd captain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. for an yeah. equaliser. How about you go get the ball and help us win the game, mate? Yes. How about that? Okay. Pick up the ball and just sit. Well. Yeah. Once again, yeah. 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 equaliser, not winning, you know. Equaliser. Yeah. 
Cool. Adi Asi cool. was a bad boy goal, and that's the only thing you did in no, that game. No, but this is where yeah. I want to come in. It's not even that much of a bad boy goal. Let's be real. Because it's a bad boy goal, Leon. Man, no, we hate no, Bruno. No, that's no, a bad boy. Bro, goal. No, it's a mistake, no, man. I'm not gonna. No, it's no, a mistake, no, but it still takes no. technique to hit it Listen, and get the right, do that the right way. All the time. Oh, uh, nah, see. Then I, 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 I can say that about any player. I know. I can say that about any player. You could slot that, bro. Huh? Trust me. Huh? You watch it back. You, you think, you think, you like, think but okay, like, but, okay, cool. Bro, in that bro, pressure, bro, listen, first listen, time, listen, listen, all of us can't guarantee we're going to hit that straight away. Come on, man. That's the point. That's the point right there. He has time to even take a touch and still make that shot. This is what I'm But he didn't take a touch. That's what makes it good. Okay, well, that, fair enough. You give him that, yeah. But I'm not giving him ratings for that because a good player, even a good player, can take a touch and love the keeper from there. The keeper's miles out. It's Leon, Leon, how much ball bro. have you played? How much? Where's the bro, last time you played bro, football? I've seen man score them goals, bro. I've no, seen, I've no, seen no. Score no. Them goals, bro. Okay, it's okay, cool. Good. Do you know what we're gonna do then? It's then turn that means to say, because he took it first time, not every player. Fine, I'll take that. But he still does. He still got time if you watch it again. It's, it's a good finish, though. It's scoring, a good goal. You know what I mean? It's a, it's so, a good goal. Leon. Leon, do you know what it is? I hear, I, I, I honestly hear where Leon's coming from. Do you get what I'm saying? I get the con the context you're coming from. I get the context that I, of how you're looking at it, but trust me, like that shot's not as easy as it looks. And I know what you're saying, like nine times out of ten, he would he would he get it on target, but he got it on target in that no, moment. That's not so, what I'm saying. I'm saying you know what I mean? it, there was another way he could have scored that, and people would have still rated it as high as Bruno. If somebody took a touch there. And love the keeper. Say Ericsson took a touch and love the keeper. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, and me, but I don't want to overrate him that much. Okay, he took it first time, it swerved it up to you and all that, yeah. But with the amount of space time and where the keeper is, professional footballers should be slotting that goal. Do you know what I mean? So I don't want to give that. too much because away from that, that goal, which was a gift, yeah. And away from what was the second goal? Um what was the second goal? Mano's goal. Uh, Mano's, um, Mano's goal, goal. Yeah. bro. It's two moments of that's it, and there's nothing else. Yeah, yeah, don't get a mistake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Bruno was horrific the in the game. game. Right now, he was bad. He yeah. was bad. He was, he was he was horrific, but it's, it's still a it's a good, still a good goal. That's the only thing he did well in that game. It's still a good mm. finish, like because and when that's dropping to him, if he misses that, I'm not sure. I'm not saying oh you should have scored. Yeah, because it's him. Like he's one. That's one thing I don't. I expect very little of him. So it's kind of like, I'm not saying, yeah. And that's any player. Like, if you score from inside the center circle, that's a, it's a good finish. It is a good, it is a good finish. Like think, type of thing. Yeah, the way he hits it comes out beautiful. It's just it, the way yeah. he strikes a ball. Just he probably, over, he probably over hit the pass. He probably over hit. Yeah. You know, that's why I went in. Yeah, man. You probably over hit it. Yeah, man. That's man. As double A and, um, as double A was saying, I think it was, was it double A who said it? It was either double L's. Ash, one of those two said it or both about. Yeah, man, he was looking for Rashford and just over here. Oh, that's funny. Over here. The pass. <laughs> you lost. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, true. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's one thing he can't do. Ivory, what are you saying about the game, fam? Thoughts? Uh, I'm of the same mind as um, Rhino right there because, of course, um, I thought the first 45 minutes for Manchester United was absolutely trash and crap, man. For a team that cost to, to, to end a half with zero shots on target, Zero shots attempt and Liverpool with 15 to four or five shots on text. I just think it's embarrassing, man. Especially in the Northwest Derby against Liverpool. And I was looking at the manager thinking, this this how you set up your team to play against Liverpool. Yes, I understand um we're missing defenders and etc. But the performance in the first 45 minutes, it was all it started off falsely because you know we scored an offside goal. Yeah. Uh, and then enough of that, we just caved in. Um, allowing Liverpool to just dominate possession in the first 45 minutes, take as much as Darwin Nunes at Noodles himself, bro. I, 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 bloody yeah, hell, he the days. misses he made like Liverpool should that have cut back, her. yeah. That yes, was that cut serious. Back. That cut back is crazy. How he's not cut that back to Shabazz, and lab. you know what yeah. Nunes done? So to cut you off, that's typical yeah. United, you know, uh -huh. we don't have patience, mm -hmm. everyone just wants to score instead of doing the sweaty goal. United don't know about sweaty goals, bro. Like, just make it easy. Square just the ball, like, like, square the ball, man. Square the ball, <laughs> bro. Make oh. it easy. Feel like, feel like it's FIFA. Square the ball, square bro. The ball. You know, when it's on top, you're playing a good team. You, you have to, bro. Sometimes you have to, square the ball. bro. You have I to, bro. All the time, I was like, hey, square that. Sweaty's on. Yeah, yeah, easy one. Simple, square it, make it easy. 
this is why I like Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola says, make the goal easy for your for your yeah. teammates, bro. Just yeah. if you see him and he's free, he's more likely to score. Pass to him. But you know our players, Ganacho and Rashford, don't know nothing about that. And but just, yeah, man. And just before you carry on, on Ivor, and just some breaking news to get to. I'll get your thoughts on it first. Get Corey, you know what I'm saying, do not reports. Love to see it. Um, former Liverpool. This is just in. So this is again from at MUFC MPB mm-hmm. on Twitter. Former Liverpool sporting director Julian Ward is the front runner in capital letters to become Manchester United's new head of recruitment. It could potentially happen soon. That's from at Pete Hall 86 and obviously MUFC MPB on YouTube. So how reliable the source is, I don't know. But yeah, they're saying former Liverpool sporting director Julian Ward could become the new head of mm. recruitment. Mm. <laughs> Wait, does that mean does that mean that? Does that mean we've got three then? So we're basically doing what they said yeah, they would do, yeah. so what choices. So it's like whoever yeah, wants. No, but it's that because it's different because obviously head of recruitment isn't director of football. That's a whole yeah, other role. Yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Obviously, that's they don't work like together. The, that's more like the, the US, US and that, isn't it? Team, man. Bro, 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 bro. Head, of head of recruitment, man. I, I, I Google it right now. Give me one second. Head of recruitment. I think it's the youth. The youth and that. Give me one second. What we need to have a look at is what team is part of the building. That was Wilcox that's doing that. No, no, no. Wilcox No, no. Wilcox is the technical director. So what the technical director does, they are the one who not only do they... Not only do they be involved with recruiting for the first team, they also try and make the transition for the youth players into the first okay, team easy. Right. Okay. So they're like that. Whereas the director of football, for example, he's less hands-on with the youth team and he's more hands-on with the first team in regards to recruiting for that. Whereas the technical director, that's what Jason Wilcox will do. Because at City, he was like the youth coach and things like that. So yeah, the head of recruitment at a football club has the responsibility of identifying and attracting players with the highest potential and implementing player acquisition strategies at their football club. So they're not really with the youth. What the mm-hmm. head of recruitment does is they're first team. Like it said there, they ident- they go out and identify. They'll work close with the scouts. And if it's him, yeah. I'm gonna um, Google Julian Ward in a second. But I like what I'm hearing. That's another step because I don't even know who our head of recruitment is now. But I know he's rubbish. Yeah. You know what though? That might, that might give us an inkling for the style that they're looking to play. For. Yeah, what that's what I was gonna. Fit, yeah, that's you're right, Leon. Thing. Still, yeah. mm. but I, I'll address that. But as I was saying about the Liverpool game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was new. This, in fact, we was even lucky to not be um, more than one nil down after Diaz scored that goal. Um, good set yeah. piece. I mean, good goal as well. It just showed the uh, defense uh, lack of defensive organization when we don't have yeah. players like Martinez in there, and etc. And in the second half as well, Manchester United started in the same way. My 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 opinion. I I saw the equalizer. We were lucky to. Uh, um, we was lucky to equalize the goal. The mistake from Quenza happen and bruno fernandez equalized and then shamelessly celebrating like he's been very impactful throughout the whole game but i have to say the second goal was amazing you know ganacho being involved screwing it up to um menu for many to, to, to turn his player and then curl it in plus kelly her was amazing and at that time there we probably all was in heaven thinking oh my god are we going to steal this game but as I was usual, in disbelief. He was in disbelief. Like, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I, I just can't I believe. believe what I'm I can't believe he was winning that game. I couldn't mm-hmm. believe, but carry on. And and typical United, yeah. when we saw that seven minutes added on, we know exactly what was going to happen. And it's it's been a frustrating week for for us Manchester United fans, to be honest with you, because we've seen two points out of a possible nine. We've seen Manchester United put themselves in winning positions, you know, and then and then lose it all. Do you know what? Sometimes it makes me feel like we're a bunch of. We're, we're like the, the the villain in Scooby Doo that gets caught cool every time, and we end up saying we could have gone away with it if it wasn't for you <laughs> stupid meddling player. <laughs> Let me, because it's how it is, we man. Are the in man we are terrible yeah, villains that never win. Yeah, but so who's turned off when he takes the mask off, Ivory? Who's yeah, who is it? <laughs> just see underneath the mask. So- <laughs> I'm smiling with his bold so, head. Um, Julian Ward's with smiling. Ryan. You know, <laughs> Come here, You managed to listen to this one. <laughs> <so>. Ryan. <laughs> so, Ryan. <laughs> no. No. Saying no, I couldn't no. go away with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go on, Corey. Listen, so Julian Ward's signings, yeah. He signed McAllister. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Well, has he left he Liverpool had- or is he still at Liverpool, um, Corey? No, no, he signed him. He, he, no, he he brought him over in. I think Julian. Is he still there? Or has he left Liverpool? I think he's just yeah. left. 
Okay. And he's cool. just Sorry. left. I'm just doing my research now. Yeah, Julian Ward uh, has yeah. left because he took over from Michael Edwards. So yeah, he decided to leave yeah. the club at the end of the season. Wow. Only months after replacing Edwards in the post. Wow. Uh, he officially succeeded Edwards in the summer after being promoted from assistant sporting director. He led Liverpool's recruitment of Luis Diaz, Darwin Nunes, also McAllister as well. Let me see. The chat might know a little bit more than me, but I'm just doing some quick Darwin research Nunes. here. Yeah. So he oh, yeah. signs McAllister, mm -hmm. Diaz, Nunes, yeah. mm -hmm. Gakpo, mm -hmm. Carvalho, uh, uh, yeah, Car 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 Fabio Carvalho, well, I don't know how to say his name, and um, Calvin Ramsey. So I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six players he signed, and I'm going to say two of them are good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that Diaz and Carvalho profile. That's the kind of one. Yeah, yeah, I like Diaz. Yeah. Diaz the other one, I like, that, actually like Diaz. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That way but the bread, know. maybe the balance of the bread, the bread negotiations, and then going for someone mm. like Nuno's, maybe we'll get someone like him way cheaper. But for that peas, nah, not for that bread. No. But oh, at the same oh, time, oh, if oh, what, just got just quickly, else? Corey, so at the same time, yeah, what Flawless was saying before about Possibly the guy from is it Wilcox from who's at City? Have I got that right? So yeah, 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 yeah. Right now. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was at City. He was at City. So, was. The right. so that's what you need. You need that minds in the room with Barada where you where he goes, yeah, where he goes Nunes, and you go, no, 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 no. We're kind of thinking this guy, mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. fits within your yeah. country. No, Corey, carry mm -hmm. on, bro. Mm -hmm. He yeah, Corey. also got um, Arthur Mello on loan. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, I'll be real. <laughs> I'm not impressed. <laughs> I'm not I'm 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 not impressed. <laughs> you, know, you know what though? Do you know what? Sometimes though, he can you can have a meeting where the guy turns around and he goes, In the market right now, we need to plug some gaps while we're still building. So I've got this free transfer in mind or this six month loan, and then they can turn around and say, like, what's your list of five players? So Arthur mm -hmm. Mello's on the list, and you're like, Okay, I get the profile you're on about, but we've looked at it a bit deeper. We don't think Mm -hmm. We yeah. think it's this guy rather than that guy, but to suggest that is not the worst thing. Because Arthur Mello, he's he stunk out of the place, yeah. But previously, mm -hmm. he wasn't a whack player. He wasn't like no, absolutely he dead on as well. Like, he, he, was, he was, did, yeah, yeah, he, he, had a, he, was, he was injured. Did he, did he, he was get injured. injured straight away? He was yeah. the majority of all season. Yeah, because one thing I will say, even with the perfect setup, you are going to get players wrong. It's about limiting them. Of course, as good as course. as good as Manchester City are, they've had duds. Mm -hmm. They've had some players they signed, and we all admit they have the best recruitment bet system, mm -hmm. and they've got it wrong. There's players and even on that point, that us, look how good Liverpool have been as well in the past. Liverpool have yeah. been good, it so and it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so what it is is like limiting it where if you sign eight players, six of them hit. I think we'd all take that, but the problem is when you sign eight players and it's two, that's the problem. It needs to, that, that needs and to, and also where, what Flawless like, is saying is they limit, they limit the risk. If you sign, like, let's just say that we go in the market this summer and we go, right, our aspirations is to be a top four club next season. Yeah, the fans might have a meltdown if we sign somebody like a Ross Barkley or something. Yeah, but if you if if the risk is you go, right, we're going to put Ross Barkley on a two year deal, he's not costing us any transfer fee and he's coming in on 50 grand a week, you've not really risked as much as when you mm -hmm. go into the market identify the wrong profile, spend 50 million quid, put him on 150k and you can afford to let them guys go. If it doesn't work after the first year, you go, all right, cool, we're just flogging for like 2 million and we'll get away with something. I think the yeah, balance should help. The yeah. overall balance should help, yeah. Because yeah, we, we're going to about... need, United fans oh. want 10 players. I keep talking about this. You're going to need a couple of free transfers, a couple of loans and mm -hmm. four or five players if you mm -hmm. want to make that six, seven transfers. You're not going to sign and sell seven players, eight players. Yeah, I don't because I don't even want to like run like if we because we've done that in the past. Sign four or five. If we sign two centers, let's say for argument's sake, we sign two central midfielders, we sign a striker, we sign a fullback and a winger. You there, that's your spine, and then potentially either let's say you sign a left winger and a left back. That's one side of the team and the spine, and then you yeah. add in a system and you use that utilize the rest of the players. That's a solid start. I don't even need ten or eleven players. Like that's just the start, and then the next summer you then go get four or five players. Then it starts to look like you're more more of your team because then you've got nine, ten. You pretty much got your first eleven, in. and then that's when you go and get squad squad players and things of that nature. After that as well, but it's all about improving. But it don't have to be instant in regards to go get a whole new Fact. team. No, these players can be used. Then how last season utilized these players, and we had a good season. So go. again, mm -hmm. with with better, with a better manager, with better players, and an actual better system with and a better system off the pitch, we can do fine. Like in regards to because this league is not is not good in terms of it's quality. not the same it's quality. It's not. It's really not. 
it's not good in terms the, of quality. The people are going to win the league with like late 70 points this year. You never heard that yeah. before. It was like 90. We're, we're, six, we're, we're, we're six with a minus goal difference in April. It yeah. tells you all you need it's to still know been like that throughout the whole season. This is just bad, man. I've never yeah, seen a whole season six. where Manchester United are just owing um, in, in goals, bro. Instead of being we're on positive. And it's bad. You know, just to add to what. I just add to what Flawless is saying as well. Yeah, it's like mm. you, 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 you take that little gamble. So let's just say like Flawless mm. is the head of the director of football at United, and he's got his team in front of him and stuff. And they go right, how many can we realistically get out? How many can we realistically get in? And they go right, we'll get four or five of the main guys out and a couple of the youngsters that are not working. So let's just say six, yeah. But we want to try and bring six in, yeah. Then Flawless goes right for the right profile, but I'm thinking two free transfers, yeah. You can take that risk because if one of your free transfers works, you're up. You haven't spent mm -hmm. 40, 50 million. You're up. If it works, it works. Do you know what I mean? And if it works for three years, the guy comes in, he makes a big difference to the system. And then you're watching him on the pitch and you're like, this is the right profile, just not the right quality. It's easy to swap. You have a bring in a player, yeah. he goes on the bench, now he's stronger. You get him off when his contract's near the end. And it, it's just about that transition. But United fans have got to be patient because a lot of them really think they're like, yeah, everyone's going to go and we're going to get four, five, fifty. But you don't want to do that. It's too high risk. I just want, I just want, I just want like I said, better. We've wasted that, so much money. Fun. How much money have we wasted? Over a billion. Over a what? billion on players. So imagine like, we even if spent... you look at Anthony, what were the three signings that we've wasted? 140 million or something. Is it Anthony Onana and who was the other? Mount. That Mount. three there is crazy money wasted, you know. No, it was, um, sorry, it's Hoyland. Um, um, Mount and you know, Onana, we spent over close to 200 mil. On so let's just say it's them four, yeah. Let's just say you wasted 40 million extra on Hoyland, he's 30 million. Well, that's 40 million down the drain. You spent, let's give Anthony a benefit of that. He's 30 million pounds. Let's just say that, yeah. That's 50 million, that's 90 million pounds just wasted straight away. And then Mount 60 million that you could have signed on a free, bro. That there's 150 million quid that you just threw down the drain. Yeah, what could we, what could any of us do? 150 million quid. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's legit what it is, like, in regards to just spending it better because the money is there to do what yeah. needs to be done. But, but yeah, she, what are you saying? Thoughts, thoughts on the game itself? Mm -hmm. yeah, Liverpool. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't obviously be too bad about a draw against you know, Liverpool team. One, they're the ops, two, they're in this title race, so hopefully that does kind of dent their title race to some certain extent. I know Klopp was rattled because after the game, he was talking about how, oh, if Arsenal played us, Arsenal would beat us. All right, man, talk about your own game, right? You couldn't. And this whole year, you couldn't beat this. You couldn't beat this shit United team in your talk last about. year. Talk about mm -hmm. that, man. Talk about your <laughs> last year at, at the club. At, I mean, at the at Anfield, at Liverpool. He's supposed to be this emotional be manager, team. our greatest manager. Couldn't beat this shit United team when you played. <laughs> That's true. True. Like crazy, man. Crazy. But yeah, um, in terms of the game, once again, I want to be able to, you know, be on these shows, all of us sit together, talk about how 16 out of 10 performance United, you know, had in the game, but that's probably never going to happen anytime soon. It's not going to happen. Yeah. You've used season. up all your 16 out of 10 credits, man. Stop, man. You're hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. When will we all sit down and be like, yo, United had a 16 out of 10 performance today? Probably never. Probably never, never. this season. But never. um, yeah, my biggest concern is the lack of control in the in the past 10 in the in the last 10 minutes of our previous three games. We've given away three penalties in our last two games, two stupid tackles that mm -hmm. we could have honestly, you know, ended up winning those games in general. Chelsea capitulated, Brentford as well gave a goal in the last couple of like 10 minutes uh, or so. Liverpool as well gave away a foolish penalty. So my thing is, when will this whole control aspect be in the team? And that goes to Ten Hag as well, the subs that you make. Are you looking for control in the last 10 minutes? But yeah, um, performance, like I said, this whole, he made the list again with 20 plus shots again since January 1st. I think we've conceded the most shots in the league since uh, since the new year. Um, first half, no, no shots at all, just... Speaks of our whole season, man. This it it is what it is. We take every single game by the way it comes. But yeah, man. I'm I'm just the only the only positive side is that Liverpool didn't pick up any points. Uh kind of dense their, their title race a little bit. But other than that, man, it's the same old shit. But Kabi Menu, what a goal from him. Absolute baller. I'm happy he got his first old Trafford goal against against these guys. But other than that, man, it's yeah, it's peak. We we these changes and all this stuff that's happening. Needs to happen soon. We need we need Ten Hag gone from this club, man. This this shit can't continue. But mm -hmm. it is what it is. Here's what it is. 
I'm assuming that flawless is just gone out here. But, but Corey, we never heard about you. What's your thoughts on um, yeah, the game Corey, against Liverpool? Game. Um, where do I begin? Um, <laughs> just a just a poor performance overall. Wasn't interesting. Um, just you know, top top players do top things. So, you know. Am I surprised that Kobe scored that goal? No, because even though he struggled during the game because the midfield was a a gaping hole, he has the talent to become a world class player. So when you see things like that, it's just like you know he's a good player and he can do that. I think Bruno, Bruno has talent. He has some sort of talent. Mm-hmm. Does he use it properly? That's another question. Mm. So seeing Bruno do something like that, am I surprised? Probably not. Because he's been doing stuff like that when he was at Sporting Lisbon. So I'm I'm not surprised by that. Um I really feel like we could have we really could have won that game. We could have been up 3 1 at that stage. That Casemiro chance frustrated me. Because it was so close and if Talking about, you know, that, talking about the header from the, when he yeah. headed it back across. Someone should have been yeah. crashing in the six-yard box. Someone was a good header. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, we all, well, not all of us, but people throw their arms up and down saying, we don't give Hoyland chances. Now, that is a big chance for you. A huge chance for you. You was barely there. Mm, was, it's a bit harsh, Corey. There. That's when I, I think you should have been like I criticize him for that in particular. Like the Casemiro yeah. header, you have to be in the six yard box at that point. You've you've got to be there. You was too busy trying to muscle people. Like focus on the game. So I'm trying to show us that you're strong. <laughs> Not with it. Um the defense. Um I think um what's his name? The young boy? Kamawala. Kambawala. Yeah. I thought Kambawala played think- well. I think he had a really good game. I was mm. actually like, raw. It's not from South London. He's actually trying to do a thing. Um, <laughs> You're trying to say, fam, I'm from South He's London. Done. My man. What's going no, on, bro? You know. What's that supposed to mean, bro? Yeah. <laughs> what, we I have mean, attitude problems out here. Hey, look at Hey, Rhino, come out here, bro. So unlock your screen, bro. <laughs> He's talking about us again. Um, South Londoners, bro. And <laughs> you know, we move mad. Then, uh... <laughs> I think I think Maguire was was pretty good as well. Like even though we conceded two goals, I ain't saying all that. Yeah, I, but, I think he was all right. Isn't it? I think he was. Yeah, right. you know what? You was all right for Maguire because your your bar yeah, of expectation yeah, yeah. for Maguire is shot. Maguire plays a five out of ten. You're like, yo, Maguire. You know what? Today you was on him. Like, no. <laughs> like that's what it is. That's what right. it is. But but go on. For me, the person that stunk it out the most was Rashford. For me, I think <laughs> you go. he was. Like no so bad, so so bad, and like the, this isn't helping the situation with him. Like you can't go from scoring all those goals from last season to basically doing nothing. Like the only thing I'd say he done that day was just run a bit more. Yeah, that's literally yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Like usually he doesn't run at all, or well, he barely runs. Mm-hmm. So when it's a big game, he just starts running. Which is the wrong mentality to have. Um, I can't lie. Mount, I didn't mind Mount as well. I thought Mount was okay when he came on. Um, Onana, couple good, well, one very good save. Can't lie uh, to you. Uh, what's it called? One yeah. from Shabazz Line. Shabazz Line. Yeah, it was a very good Shibata save. Yeah. But again, just conceding too many shots. Midfield, there's no cohesion, you know, there's no teamwork. Like, I don't see a team, I see a bunch of individuals. That's what frustrates me the most. Because if we played like a team, we could have really won that game. Because mm-hmm. Liverpool weren't at it that day. Yeah, they preaching, weren't. preaching well, right now. Actually, to... Their attackers weren't at it. And I think Sabozla like, just stinks anyway. So, <laughs> like, like, we could we could have really got something from that game if we actually played as a team. If we defended how we defended at Liverpool, yeah. we, we could have really won that game. You know, even even without the Kobe, like I feel like we could have scored more goals if we defended properly. Mm-hmm. Huh? You know, and 
just for me, it's another poor, just another poor overall performance. I'm not surprised by it anymore. I'm just counting. We've got nine. We could po- we possibly got nine more games. Not we fair. possibly have nine more games. That's including FA Cup, and then we're done. And then we can start to actually move on and develop a style of play. Because I'm just mm-hmm. sick and tired of watching eleven players, eleven players on the pitch, just kick a ball. <laughs> that's what we're watching. Right. That's what it's really, like. it's really just what right. it is. Yeah, I'm. I'm not watching. Uh, I'm not watching a football team actually try to win a game. I'm just watching them individually. You know, when you get a, you got like three men that want to play ball. You get there and you just join in with another, just with yeah, other yeah, people. Yeah. You don't yeah. know. Not, you don't know them. They don't know you. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. you're just, they're just playing for playing sake, yeah. like in school. Like bear man just 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 link up and play football. Don't even mm-hmm. know how to play with each other. I've never played with each other. So you know. All right, Corey. Just to say that's exactly how I feel whenever I see Marcus Rashford and Gonacho and Hoyland. Like, hey, bruv, do I know you from somewhere? Oh yeah. no, I don't know. Like, oh my name is Rashford. Ho- every but, week is but, like but, that. <laughs> every week, every week we look like that. Every but yeah, week, week is like the manager, that. The manager tried to put impetus on training and what's what is going on in training. If we look like that on the pitch, what's happening in training? I know, like what? Is they don't know. Training is a re- training is a reflection of the pitch. What I'd goes on game time is a reflection of the training. Watch their training because it's either yeah, Ten Hag is actually trying to implement this style of play, but the play is actually just stupid. They're generally just dumb, and they oh. don't know what to do when when they get in these situations. They can't think for themselves. They need mm. to be babied. Or I, I, I said Ten that Hog actually a, mm. an absolute fraud. And he just gives them he just gives them a ball and says, run around for a little bit so your training's done, they can get in your car and go home. It's it has to be one of those two. Yeah, but the rumor um, is he doesn't he doesn't do training. That's the rumor. He doesn't take training. He's the assistant. He's assistant. Yeah. He's assistant well, surely he has he but surely he's having a say on what's going on in training. So in regards yeah. to like the routines they're doing. He's, he's, and what he's assistant they're doing. Must be trash. Mm-hmm. The other bald guy. Yo, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Van de Gro or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking he's about. Van de he's twin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's basically twin. twin. He's basically twin. He's twin. They look like, yo, they look like brothers, man. Are you telling me they don't look like brothers? Shout out to Fazman on the Vandergaard song. Do you remember that, right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you love me? Vandergaard. Do you know what it is, though? When Ten Hag was in the stand and Vandergaard was out on the field, we played all right that game. What game was that again? When Ten Hag wasn't allowed on the pitch. So you're saying give it the, basically <laughs> give it to the assistant for the end of the tournament. Anything's the better than Ten Hag. Right? Well, yeah, like the We're gym, desperate. That's... We need a coach. We need yeah. something yeah. better than Ten Hag. Right? That's what it is. And it's just supposed to show how we're just not... We're like, desperate. Training. We're not doing anything. They might just out there freestyling. What yeah. I think, what you see on the pitch is what you see in training. <laughs> Outside of like drills. Like, I, I think they keep saying drills. I love to go watch it and just see. Like, I, I have a... Have a week Corey, I have, could, I have they, could, they could play really well in training for that one day. I'm there. I, Corey, I, have, I, I have a strong um, feeling that the players just lack the the, the character, the, the the ability to play a style of play. Because how many managers have we seen? No, man, man, don't do that. Don't don't like, do that. No, it's not picking the first have, opinion. Have, you know, Louis Van Gaal. I worry. You know why I disagree with that? Because we had a style last season. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's we style. didn't have a style. Style. Yeah. style. We had a style that's last season. Style. Yeah, we did. Just because no. it wasn't, no, no, no. Just because it wasn't pretty and we mm. didn't like it and it wasn't on the front foot, it was a style. Pretty. Defending deep and hitting teams on the break on the counter attack is a style. It's not the style we want to see. It's not the most eye pleasing style, but is it a style? Yes. Mm. This is why we had such a good outside of the two beaten away to City and Liverpool defensively. This is why we were so good. That was our game plan. That's why Rashford had such a good season in terms of numbers. Yes. But there were still flaws in that last. Of season. course, every yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, there's yeah, going to be because of the we... yeah. The reason why that is Ivorian because there is a lack of quality. So you're gonna get that. Outside of still, outside, of, that, outside of the top three, outside of the top three clubs, who doesn't have what other team? All other teams have outside of Chelsea and us. Every other team in this league has a style. Of course, they're gonna have weaknesses. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but I, as I was saying before, like flawless. I just don't think they they got they have it in them. We all know that they don't. Some majority of players. Like you look at the players like Bruno. I've, I've said this every time. Mm-hmm. Bruno can't pass. Decision making is very poor. So if you want to play a certain way. It's either you're going to play freestyle, allow him to have a free roll. Rashford as well, his decision-making 
oh, is the footballing IQ. I just don't know about him. And you got McTominay, who we call McShadow, who hides into yeah. pockets <laughs> instead of making himself available as well. And you've got Maguire, who's the worst at playing for the ball from the back. The word that he's good at playing the ball from the back and passing is a myth. Like, it, and as well, in the air, he's not the best as well. Like, especially going forward and attacking. You've Go got Aaron Saka, who's <laughs> Bambi on ice, do- playing football like he's dancing on <laughs> ice and ice skating, and who can barely go forward and attack it. And, 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 well, and you've got Luke Shaw is on fit. There's so many problems there as well. And yeah, got, but here's the well, thing then, I've already in. Here's uh, the thing I've already in. You've named, you've named out of a 22-man squad about five players. So let's talk about the players that could play a style. Because uh, there are... I know, I know who you're going to talk. Ahmed... No, there are, there are eight to ten players that could play a style. Mm-hmm. You, the, the thing is, yeah, people think that the style's got to be perfect. It's just competent players mm-hmm. doing basic things. Mm-hmm. That's what will create a consistent style. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, yeah. you've got people like Dalo. I'm going to take Malassi out of it because he's not there. Lindelof mm-hmm. can play a style. I'm not saying it's to the level of what we want, but he can definitely oh, play yeah, a style. Definitely. So can Varane. So mm-hmm. can Kambawala. So can Amrabat. Yeah. So yeah. can Ericsson. There's I a agree. lot of players. That's the reason, and again, the reason why we know we can do it. But the they did it last season. Get what he's trying to do. They did it last, mm-hmm. yeah. did it last season. Yeah, These players are more it. than capable of, again, to the highest level, no, because they lack quality. Well, mm-hmm. they, they are professional footballers. Mm-hmm. So are they able to implement a set style, the vast majority of them? Yes. Even the ones that flawless. The league isn't that good, so you don't have to go win you don't every have game to and great. lose two to get somewhere. And you know what I'm saying, guys? The, the, that, team, that... the, team, the team that are in fourth employ team Vernal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just clarify yeah. that the team yeah, that I are employed yeah. and start to murder week in, week out. And you know who's on the you know, who's on, wait, wait, wait. you know who's on the other wing, Brandon Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, and they're not that great. But guys, I have to say something. Verna let... and Brandon Johnson, just to clarify, so for, for let me say that louder for people in the back. That is not tough to get past them. Sorry. And yes, they have some matter to you are quality, but let's not act like you have to be amazing. And that, Timo and that, Werner. Yeah. And let me just contribute to myself. We're playing one game a week, yeah? And you would have said, if someone would have said, you know what? No, man, because we're playing too many games. Ten Hag doesn't have a, 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 any days of working on his tactics and the style of play. We're playing one day a week. Six days we can train and seven day, on, 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 on one day we play football. I suspect to see a playing style right now because we're only playing once a week. You have six days to work on your philosophy. Six days to get this working from since January since to be knocked out of Europe. But still, we're unable to see that on the pitch, man. So, so like what are you saying? Before, are you saying that's because the players can't do it? Or no, no, no. Then it, that's it. That's it. Let me contradict myself okay. because that this is when the manager comes into play because we are yeah. playing one game a week, and you have six days to figure it out every week. And we still don't see what you're trying to show on a training pitch, on the actual pitch on match day. And that's the worrying thing. So it's a bit of both yeah, of us. It definitely right is the manager. Point. 100, no, no, 16 no, out of 10%. That, yeah. 16 out of 10% that is the manager as well. Going, as well. And 16 out of 10%. What the hell is wrong with you guys? You guys have got issues, man. They're therapists, man. You guys have got We just want our club to be 16 out. We're doing 16 out of 10 things. 16 out of 10. That's what I want, man. That's what we want. I don't I hear, hear it. I hear it I don't, if I don't, he goes viral, you get the royalties. I hear it. I get Leon, it. I, Leon, I don't want to be, I don't want it. Nah, it's just my dislike for Ryan. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? It's saving about the money. This is just my straight just dislike for Ryan. Do not ever get it mistaken and think it's that. Like I'm just glad it happened. <laughs> right, right, right is tuning in as well, yeah. man. It's, it's I'm just I'm just glad. Hey, hey, listen to me good. I'm just happy. I'm just happy that it happened to him. If I could have picked <laughs> one person in this entire content creator space for this to happen to, it would be him. And if I could pick two people, I'd pick him and him again. I'm so happy that happened to him. Just to clarify, this is great. The amount of shit this man be talking, and it's just great that he's just getting embarrassed on a daily basis on a worldwide scale and every continent on the globe. And I love it. And I will continue to play the clip every day. But don't get mistaken, people. That's little bro. Love him to death. We got to hold that. On a positive note, like, next time you're out there, Ryan, don't be surprised if a, a thing comes at you. Hey, yo, you're Mr. 16 out of 10, isn't it? Facts. Facts. You can have my number. I'd be Ryan, sure. I'd be so mad. One day. You I'd was a true so TV, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. Cheating yeah, the system with your dead little wrist thing. Yeah. <laughs> Gary's, Gary's pissed off. Yeah. I am. I'm mad. 
Like, it's gonna I'll, happen, I'll, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Trash Bindi, like, knowing you're like, oh, are you like that, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> like that. Well, I would definitely say, oh, hi, you like that? <laughs> The thing, oh, like the thing is, oh, hello. Someone, you know what the thing is? Someone's gonna use it and it's gonna work. Like someone's gonna use it online or in real life. It's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. It's definitely gonna happen. But I get it gets it's in my ads every day. No matter mm-hmm. what I'm tweeting about or what I post, somebody will mention it. Every chat I'm in, every live stream I'm in, people mention it. It happens. Someone will yeah. say 16 out of 10 something. You know what I'm saying? But big up to Ryan, man. Big up to Ryan. A big up to Nero, who was here earlier as well. And he mentioned the six, 16 out of 10 merch coming this week, people. Don't worry about that, man. 16 out of 10 tees coming this week without that. Leon, I got one for you. Don't worry, my friend, man. My brother, I got you. Yeah, but one of the like... man's face on. Wait, not... you got... No, that won't be his face yeah, on. Yeah, I'm yeah, creating yeah. the tees. <laughs> I was at the shop yesterday. I'm the merch the is coming out. out. The merch is coming. So I was going to, it's going to, I got two, two designs. So one is like 16 slash 10, and then the other is 16, and then out of 10 written out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tea's coming, man. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sell them. Yeah, I'm, I'm being deadly serious. Yes, I was setting up the shop last night, and you know what price we're selling that, Corey? Sixteen pound ten pence. Hey. Ah. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and if you're, and if, and shout out to Ram who gave me this idea. If you're a member of the channel, you will get sixteen percent off. You know, hey, mm. we running with this oh, that's for real. <laughs> hey, man, I'm yeah. telling you, I'm being it's deadly serious. The stars are aligning because I wasn't going to do it and stars people kept aligning. asking about it. So I was like, all right. So I legit was setting up the shop yesterday. I was talking to my head of creative. We were like, all right, let's pop, let's sort this out and get this together. So worst case scenario, pre-orders this week. But yeah, the tees will be coming out this week, 100%. Without doubt. Hey, I got guy you Ryan, party, man. again, saying dumb shit. Which sad individual would buy this dumb merch? This is what you don't need to say because now yeah, everyone's yeah, yeah, yeah. going to buy this. Now Backs, everyone's going to buy it. And, and all right. The of, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. The irony right, of, I, getting, of Ryan saying what sad today. individual yeah. would buy this dumb merch? What sad individual would say this dumb That's shit? Story, By the way, it, but can I just are. say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10s today, both of them. All right, big up the panel. I told as for Ryan, ask for that one still. You know what's crazy? Hey. You should actually get the, the two girls to actually wear the 16 out of 10 top. Oh, yo, like mad. Hey, yo, mad. You know what? That's oh a fantastic God. idea. I'm gonna have to reach out and get them to you know what? You spot on, man. Man said the launch promo you spot video. on. You spot on get that. them to hey. promo it. Right, Ryan, Ryan, you lost that on your royalties, man, for that kind of comment, bro. Hey, yo, Flo, nah, don't nah, give nah, me nah. any royalties. No, 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 no. He gets his royalties. He's like, how much profit do I get? I said one point. I said one point six percent. I got you. Don't worry about it, man. You know what I'm saying? You, so he, he has the nerve to diss the, diss the <laughs> idea, <laughs> but he's asking you for royalties. He was like sixteen dollars. <laughs> nah, man, one point six, man. One point six percent, man. Sixteen, where you got? One point six, man. <laughs> 1.6 percent that's what we'll get in terms of the royalties but yeah oh, man the cheek of him saying who's buying the dumb merch and you was the one who cr- the reason why this is a thing is because of you ryan this ain't nobody yeah, else this is you this is you <laughs> it's not yeah, like i i made this up and put this on yeah, you like oh yeah. you said it you hey, said hey it. rhino what's rhino saying though oh geez, but yeah back to, back to, but yeah oh, man like God. i say 60 out of 10 t's will be out this week people like i said I, i'm i'm pining it and just you know dotting all the i's crossing all the t's but run up the likes Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Roll to 11k. Subscribe to all the man them as well. Big up to yeah, big up to Rhino. He's got to... <laughs> 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 Yeah, this is our hand, man. <laughs> oh jeez. But yeah, in regards to the game itself, the only part, the few positives United Liverpool, the result because we was there to spoil the party and we did that. I said that on Big Six Mantra when I was on there. I said it previously before the game. We was literally there just to spoil the party. That's it. We weren't looking to go talk to no girl. We weren't trying to know 16 out of 10 <laughs> whiz. We weren't going to dance. We weren't going to get no drinks. We were just literally going there to make sure the party gets locked off. We were looking to go cause a ruckus and we did that somehow. We almost fumbled it, but we managed to do that somehow and which dented their title hopes that we could be a major factor in why they don't win the league, which obviously over the moon about because you don't want Liverpool winning anything. However, outside of that, Kambawala played well. Yeah. That low was bright. Yeah. That was pretty much it. Oh, nah, nah, yeah. That was we were woeful. We was woeful. How can't you lot perform in a game versus Liverpool at home? No, which is already high stakes anyway. 
Don't forget what Rhino said. Bruno was was uh, popping as well. Yeah, man. Leon, the way he just drops it. Trying there. to start something. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. You know, Ivorian, I've been listening. I got you as well, man. Trying yeah. to give Garnacho <laughs> credit for a pass when Maynard made the goal. Oh, Garnacho. Garnacho <laughs> gave him the pass, didn't it? You shameless. You got turned. See, this is see, this this is where the bar is outside of that. Woeful. Maguire just, it was Maguire out there. Uh, Juan Bissaka was poor. That's unlike him yeah. to be so defensively poor like that. Midfield, oh. Casemiro mm, at least yeah. was trying to clamp people Sweet. and run around. Maino, I thought, was below par. Even though he scored yeah. a great goal for him, I thought he was below par. Bruno was horrific. I thought, I didn't know if he thought he was playing for Portugal and that's why he's passing to the team in white and green. Yeah, I know that's Portuguese <laughs> colours. <laughs> like, that's where I was at with it. The amount of times I was like, do you oh, realise, you see you see that white round thing on, on the pitch? You need to pass it to somebody else in red. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the that's the aim type of thing. Disappeared, offered nothing. You hitting the deck while we're losing 1-0 and all those yeah. things. He was oh, just God. absolutely yeah. awful. Non-existent. All this leader, like, all right, leader, when the going gets tough, where are you? How come you're always hiding? When the war is on and we're really in the trenches and it's really tough, how come you never there? You're never on the front front. Not even... Clamp, not even running around clamping into people nothing you ain't even closing down the only person you're shouting at is the ref how about you use that energy to sh to in your own game use that energy to shout at your teammates use that energy and aggression against the opponents crash into an endo or McAllister or Nunes or something get the crowd up mm -hmm. yeah I even seen Rashford do that in the first five to ten minutes where he tackled yeah, someone yeah, on yeah, the left yeah. and don't get mistaken Rashford was woeful but mm -hmm. what I said when he did that I was like that will stop people questioning your commitment and then he goes on to play like he don't care just walking around, no runs in behind, nothing. You ain't really good dribbling the ball out of play, nothing. Ganacho was poor, but mm. where I have sympathy for Ganacho is I looked at that front three and you're our go-to guy. We playing Liverpool at home and Ganacho, who's limited, is the guy we are looking at going, you're going to be the guy to take us over the top in the final I'm third. I'm at never minutes, no? I'm at Yeah, minutes. Ten Hag, of course, he's never going to get minutes. Of I'm course, he's never going to get minutes because it's, it, it, it's Ten Hag. Hoyland uh. wasn't good. And wasn't helped. Like, I can't even say, oh, you didn't really hold the ball at well. We didn't have the ball like that. We didn't. And another record broken by Ten Hag, zero shots in the first half. Not zero shots on target, zero shots in the first half. Woeful. And the thing is, I say this all the time in regards to when you play teams that are than you. If you try hard and go out there and run, in, run laps and apply yourself and put in the effort, if they have an off day, guess what? You can win the game. Get the door. And yeah. In the goal, had an off day. They had an off day in the FA Cup and because we applied ourselves, that's why we beat them. And in this game here, we got a draw. Imagine we would have played to a okay, an actual energetic level. We win the game. We was leading somehow. How we was leading, I don't know. May no banging goal, by the way, just to clarify that. Bruno did nothing outside of his goal, either very good finish, but the cheek and audacity of you to be shushing the crowd. And that lets you know where his mindset's at. He thinks playing terrible for that long and then scoring a goal makes it okay. And fans will accept that. Well, I don't. And this and is why this. I say about him. Yeah, shushing people. Yeah. How about how about you? How about you get some more assistant goals, mate? Because you know, like yeah, I said, I we've been performing terribly in this game. We've been performing terribly all season. We've been performing terribly as a club ever since you got here, to be honest. For being real. Take one yeah. season out. How many seasons you've been here that have been successful? We was more successful before you. You won a League Cup, we won a Europa League and the FA Cup before you got here. Mm -hmm. since you got here all of you won a Carabao Cup and that's not solely on him but he has to take accountability for that because if we had won more after him what would people look how people talk about him now and he ain't done shit for us Flawless. let's call it shit he's uncomfortable done uncomfortable conversations for uncomfortable for conversations for people yeah for real like that's a, that's what it is because let him have won as a Europa League a FA Cup and a League Cup people will be talking about oh that's what he's led us to I hate when people say that oh where would we be without him where are we with him Exactly. Mm -hmm. Our um, attackers struggled every season he's been here every, by one. I think game. there's only one season our attacker scored uh, in the Premier League has scored 70 plus goals whilst he's been here. And that's when we had Pogba, then Greenwood, Martial, Rashford was all there. And we was in lockdown. So we know you man thrive when there's no pressure on you type of thing. So I think yeah. every season you've been here where there's actually been a crowd, we have scored less than 70 plus goals. But you're supposed to be this amazing creative player, an amazing goal scorer. And people will blame the attackers, but if he's that good, I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it if he's world-class and top class. Why do people look at just the end result all the time? So, like, he scores this many goals and Ten Hag's got a win percentage of this. Why do we... The process of where we, where we get to where we need to be is a lot 
more, it's like a lot longer watch. How can you watch 90 minutes of football and then go, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 um, we, yeah, but we've got a higher win percentage than when the other managers are here. Did you not watch the 90 minutes rather than read the stat for five seconds? <laughs> How can you watch Bruno for a yes. whole season and then be like, oh, yeah, but he's got 28 goals? That's why yeah, when Ronaldo yeah. was here, yeah, uncomfortable conversations, I wasn't rating it because I was like, great, he scored all them goals, but it hasn't helped us out at all. It literally hasn't yeah. helped us. And that's not taken mm-hmm. away from him putting the ball in the net. But at the end of the day, the whole team it plays with that one player to get him the chances, isn't it? Like, it's not... When are we going to start talking from a team perspective? Yeah. Or do you not want to move forward? Yeah. Do you want the players well, to just carry on putting us in shit? So, it's up also, to you. Also, like, like, while well, like, one fan... Yeah, go on, go on, go on. One fan say... Yeah, one fan say, like, oh, well, where would we be without Bruno? That just, that just says that you're okay with being here. You're accepting yeah, us being exactly. in this situation. Because Bruno's been here this whole time, and this is the state where th- that we're in. All we're asking for is to do better. It's to be b- in a better position. But when you guys say, oh, where would we be without Bruno? That means you're okay with being in this stage, which is yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. That's what mm-hmm. you want to do. That's, mm-hmm. that's absolutely fine. But don't fault us for wanting us to be in a better position. We exactly. want to be better than this. We know we can be better than this. Like, And that's one of the things that I was uh, – when we were talking about Ten Hag earlier too, that's – that's one of the biggest things that why I criticize him the most at the start of this season is that one, you've done well with the squad in the past. You actually won a trophy and competed for top four last year. Two, you had the money to spend. Like Ten Hag inners would love to say, oh, he hasn't had the right resources to spend. He hasn't had the right money to spend. Stinky oh, argument. Mm-hmm. We just talked earlier on this video. We just talked about how much money he wasted. He signed Anthony for 90 million when he's really just like at most a 30 million pound player. Mason Mount, at most, a 30 million pound player. So that extra 60 million that you just wasted, you could have bought on better positions so that we wouldn't have to play someone like Harry Maguire, so that we wouldn't have to play someone like Scott McTominay. But what did you decide to do? You decided to sign these players and put your faith in these players. And now we're here because of you. Like this is the this whole state that we're in is because of you, because you didn't try to strengthen. You you had a style of play last mm-hmm. year. You should have gone out in the summer and be like, all right, these profiles are the ones that I need. To, uh, to strengthen this style of play. But what did you do? You went absolutely backwards. So I'm looking, yeah, man, this is absolutely on Ten Hog. I hear the players and stuff like that, but you've actually been able to produce better out of these players last season. So I'm not hearing this whole player thing this year. You had a chance to make this better, to improve on this, and you didn't do you didn't do that. So it's as yeah. simple as that. If you're building a house project and you give the guy 50 grand to do your yard and he's supposed to do like the, the whole bottom floor or even get you to a point where you've just got to put the... I don't know, like insulate, uh, maybe to the point where it's just plastered, then you got to do the decorating and you got to do the final bit show and all that. Yeah, maybe he's not fitting your appliances in that. And then he spends you 50 grand and you're in there and you're like, right, there's one wall up that's about to fall over. Yeah, there's loads of cracks in the floor and there's loads of brickwork outside. I can't see where my investment's gone. Why do you deserve more investment, bro? You just bond my money away. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here in an unlivable home. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? People, people, Sleep in a sleeping bag and. Yeah, people will I, say, I "Oh, well, bag it's better being out in the street." Believe... What are you saying? Sorry, I said that's what the United fans will say. Oh, it's better. At least, at least you got a roof over your head. It's better than being out in the street. Yeah, I don't so want to hear I... your shit about your vision with the house when I'm sleeping yeah. on a one floor with one wall. Like, are you? Am I an idiot? <laughs> like, it doesn't make no sense. So at the same time, <laughs> yeah. It says Leon, you don't know the bigger picture of how the house is going to look. Yo, yeah, fuck he, my yeah, man's no, bigger picture. No, Give my money back. We can have a break now. It's Yo, we don't see the vision, man. We need, we, want the house to be, we need the house to be 16 out of 10. But yeah, on that note, people, <laughs> we are closing out. Make sure you run up the likes, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> it will never die on my life. <laughs> I, 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 anytime something quiet. goes wrong, anytime something goes wrong, I'll be like, yo, I'm going to be like, one in the 16 out of 10 is going on here. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to start saying that. Anytime someone says something wild or some nonsense happens, I'm going to start using it as a phrase. Like, yo, one in the 16 out of 10 is going on here. Yeah, like, for real. But make sure you subscribe to all the man. Them links are underneath in the description. Ivorian's channel, Rhino's channel, obviously mm-hmm. Big Six Bands. Make sure you subscribe to Chic TV, Unleash Sports, as as well, we will be redirecting because I'm going over to Rance's channel, people. So just put sarcasm, see the raid, capital letters. Obviously, the content keeps rolling. Shout out to Rance every single time. We'll be live on the playback. It is Champions League. So Arsenal yeah. versus Bayern Munich. That's yeah. Yeah. Come on, Bayern. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, that's the night. Yeah. So you've got yeah. City, City and City and Real Madrid, City and Real Madrid is right in. Real Madrid City. So yeah, so we got yeah, Arsenal, yeah. Bayern, Real Madrid City. Football. Depending on which, <laughs> depending on people, which English team is doing worse is what game I'll be watching. So if Arsenal yeah. start yeah. leading, the start. Right, 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 Because this is the only football man enjoys the ops. This man is crazy, bro. Yeah, the ops losing. But yeah, we're live on the playback, people. So Arsenal, Bayern Munich, and Real Madrid City first leg. So that's on the playback. So download the app. Links underneath in the description playback.tv slash sarcasm city tv oh, then we're back shit. here midnight uk time for the manchester united manchester city show so myself and Vato be talking obviously recapping the city game i'm sure there'll be some more news in regards to manchester united as well and then 3 a.m uk time we're back live on the playback nba watch along lake big game lakers warriors people la lakers Ooh, golden state nice. warriors yeah, Jeez. that's the night. That's Ooh, eight, eight, and this weekend's eight, sounding eight, crazy people. for you. So oh, yeah, people. <laughs> people. Uh, man, no, obviously, NBA Rhino, playoffs is here. NBA you, playoffs bro. is almost upon If you want to start watching NBA, bro. watch tonight, bro. If you, if you want to just, just the way you guys reacted, like the same way you reacted to the, the football, I, I'm assuming those two basketball teams are the, the, yeah, like, lit, lit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, because they need to win because they're, they're both vying for places. They're both vying because one's, one's ninth, one's tenth, so they're both vying to try and get higher. Oh, you say Lakers? Can I just, yeah, yeah, can Lakers. I just add yeah. something? Because I heard we're like, Lakers, we're, we're like the Lakers of football, innit, basically? That's what mm, kind of, of these guys are. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, Very similar. And, they don't and, pull out the bag and play well when they do, when we don't. Yeah. And, so. and Flores, let me just get one thing out of my chest. Um, oh. Bun Cody Rhodes. And I'm pissed off. My tribal chief is no longer champion, bro. Like, right. Still the ones in the air, but bun you, Cody crybabies, bro. Bun you guys, but we still the ones. You get me? Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> we, are, we are closing out. People, you get this show every Tuesday, 4:30 p.m. UK, and then every Friday, 5 p.m. Man and United and podcast. Of course, you get all the crossovers as well. But check out the upcoming live stream schedule. Like I say, we're heading over to Rance's channel. You lot continue to support, and don't forget this show. All the other shows on the channel, apart from Watch Alongs, are available on all audio platforms. So Spotify, iTunes, mm -hmm. Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify. Follow us five star or same with iTunes five star us. Leave us a review. SoundCloud as well. Well, if you don't want to watch on YouTube or you might just prefer, you know, to listen audio only. But big up to everyone that's locked in. This has been the Man United podcast live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in.